Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm glad to be back here. If today is your first time, if this video is your first time of getting to know Febby, this is Febby and I talk about my adventures as a first time mom. So you're welcome here. Please click on the subscribe button. It's somewhere there, calling your name. And click on the bed beside it so that every time I upload a video, you will be the first to know about it. So today I'll be talking about sleep training your baby what do i mean by sleep training your baby it means getting your baby to sleep exactly when you want your baby to sleep abby it's supposed to be that simple but somehow babies just have a mind of their own abby they don't get to do anything whenever you want them to do it they just want to be all over you so how do you get your baby to sleep when you want your baby to sleep, especially when you have things to do, maybe you're a working mom, maybe you're a schooling mom, maybe you just need a me time, you know, and you need your baby to sleep. How do you get your baby to sleep? If you go on the internet, if you go on Google, you will see a whole lot of um, information about sleep training your baby. They have a whole lot of names, they call it cry it out method different kind of methods but i'm not an expert on anything i'm just telling you about my own experience as a first time mom so i'm just going to be limiting my um experience and my ideas that i'm giving out today to just three one two three so before you can think of um, getting your baby to do what you want when you want it, especially when it comes to sleeping. There are some things that you should put into consideration. First, the time to start sleep training your baby. When do you start sleep training your baby? Is it when the baby is a month old, two months old, three months old? Actually, if you ask me, I think you should start as early as possible. Because you see these babies, you know, in um, the, when I was young, in those days, I can say that. In those days, babies were born with their eyes closed. But these days, they are like wide-eyed. I remember when she baby was born, she was like, she wanted to see what was going on. When they said show her, show her, it was, it was as if they were speaking to her, like they were saying show her. Meanwhile, they were saying they should show her to me. You know, and her eyes were just like wide open. So you see, they they are like um, their intelligence is like it, it's faster than it, it used to be. So uh, before you know it, they are smart enough to know that okay, this one needs me to sleep. I'm not going to sleep. You know, they will now start trying to fight the sleep that you are trying to make them sleep, which is not a good thing for you because when baby starts fighting sleep, they get cranky, they start throwing tantrums. They're just all over the place. So, me, I would advise that you start as early as possible. As early as you can. Okay, not two weeks old. <laughs> two weeks old, they are still sleeping anytime and every time. So, not two weeks old. Start probably like when they're a month old. Two months. They started playing. Like, you know, it's not all babies that when you clap your hands, they would laugh or you tickle them. Once your baby starts responding to to your gestures yes i would say start start sleep training so that you do not get a very hard baby to control okay so that is that about when to start now there are other things that you should put into consideration first you have to have a routine like for instance um baby sleeps during the day i know some people uh like the the time well when they're still on him maternity leave they wake baby up um, bath the baby feed the baby and then put the baby back to sleep you, you need to have that kind of routine like nap in the morning nap during the day and then sleep at night there's no napping at night it's not about you don't want a baby that wakes up five six times in the middle of the night to eat nah we want babies that sleep through the night Abby. okay so you need to have a routine let your baby know that I, I sleep at least three times a day or two times. There are some playful babies. Like my baby was really playful. She did not sleep during the day. Except, I don't know, maybe your first hour. Or maybe she would sleep from maybe overfeeding. She would not sleep during the day. 
So just make sure that you have that kind of routine that baby knows that this this and this time I, I, I should sleep. This is the time I sleep. And somehow they just get um they get adapted to your routine. You will discover that sometimes by themselves they'll just fall asleep. Like um a baby knows that um after feeding in the morning you rock them to sleep you rock them back to sleep some of them will just fall asleep while even feeding in the morning you know when they know that it's not like i'm going to the market or something <laughs> once i finish eating i'm supposed to go back to sleep so they will just get used to the routine another thing that you would want to do is make sure that it's time specific now by time specific i don't mean that um um your baby sleeps at 2 p.m. and then the baby should just shut the eyes and zaff. That's it. Babies are asleep. No. No one sleeps like that. Okay, I know some people sleep like that, but... So, the thing is, you know that your baby should sleep, like the time you are trying to get the baby to sleep should be around her. Like you're saying, between one and two and the nap should last for like an hour 30 minutes or baby sleeps sleep longer they sleep for like two hours okay so you can do around 1 and 2 p.m so you can start the sleeping process from 1 and then by 1 30 or 1 45 for some stubborn babies <laughs> they would be asleep they will fall asleep and then at night too you have to have that specific timing say baby sleeps like around eight these are the things that you need to have put in place before you can start sleep training you feed your baby and then another thing is that you have to have um i don't want to say ritual but you know before you can put some babies to sleep if you don't put water on their body they will not settle down to sleep and um some time ago i asked the doctor or more like the doctor asked me that why do i think babies cry a lot before they sleep and i said i didn't know i just felt it was normal but babies should cry now sure and he said no that they have a lot of pent-up energy in them and they need to burn it because why we adults sleep because we're tired because it's not very easy to go on through 24 hours and just keep working we get tired and then we sleep. But babies don't do anything. So they need to get tired to sleep. That's why they cry. So they need to burn the energy, the pent up energy in them, which makes a whole lot of sense. So you need to have some kind of routine. Part of routine. You need to have some kind of routine. Maybe you shower for baby and then feed baby and then baby sleeps. Or you feed baby and then you shower and then baby sleeps. Or you rock baby, you sing, 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 which is one of the things I did a lot of. And I'm going to get to that. Or you sing, 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 and then baby sleeps. So you have to have that kind of routine before you can start sleep training. Because sleep training itself is not just like saying um, things that will come naturally. It's not like feeding baby. It's like, it's like saying you're teaching your baby how to talk. <laughs> It's like a whole, it's like work. Let me put it that way. And then you yourself, that is getting baby ready for sleep training. Now, getting you ready for sleep training, you have to be ready. Physically, emotionally, what other is there? Spiritually, <laughs> you have to be ready. You have to be always ready. Now, you will be thinking in your mind that what's this girl talking about? So what do you mean by I have to be ready? Is it no baby that I want to put to sleep? Now, I'm going to go to the methods that you can use to sleep train your baby. When you're sure that you're ready. And then be sure that your baby is not sick. If your baby has some kind of form of ailment or the other, you will just have a crying baby. And you'll be wondering why your sleep training is not working. So you don't want a crying baby make sure that the baby is healthy before you start sleep training so let's go into methods of sleep training now the first one is the cry it out allow your baby to cry it should be simple but this is where your own preparedness comes into play if you are not prepared to be hearing your baby cry over and over again 
and you can do nothing about it because he has sleep draining then please don't sleep drain now the crying out method is i i would say is the most effective i think because one it, it gets you to raise an independent baby your baby can just fall asleep once they get used to it they can fall asleep by themselves knowing that it's either i find comfort in just closing my shutting my eyes and sleep than to be expecting that someone is coming to rock me so what do you do with the method put your baby down once you are set and you are sure that okay i'm ready for the baby to sleep with your routine your time specific routine baby is supposed to sleep between eight and nine or between seven and eight so once it's eight o'clock puts your baby on the bed baby has fed baby has had a shower baby is in pajamas then you lay the baby down maybe face down and you've bopped your baby remember that because you can get a whole lot of cries if you've not bopped your baby so put your baby down maybe face down back down you should by now by that time by that stage you should know the best position for your baby to sleep so put your baby down and leave the room if the baby is not going to fall asleep by itself you are going to get a whole lot of cries now this is where you need to be really prepared because your baby is going to cry until the baby falls asleep now if you are really prepared the cries you will discover that as the days go on as the days go by the cries would reduce like if the baby will cry for like say 10 15 minutes the first day it will reduce in the next few days until there is no more cry until you can put your baby down and the baby will just sleep by itself so that is the cry it out method now the second method is the no tears now you might be the kind of mother that does not like to hear cry at all you put baby down baby cries more carry baby now this one would involve you to be hands on deck you must stand by the crib or the bed wherever you lay your baby to sleep at night or during the day and this all this sleep training method has to work with all of the sleep times during the day and during the night so you it means that you carry your baby every time the baby cries it's either you carry your baby and hold the baby and rock the baby until the baby falls asleep again before you lay the baby down or you're just by the bed patting the baby rocking the baby giving baby everything baby wants until baby falls asleep it is tedious i do not advise it for anybody because i don't know you are not raising any there's no way your baby will be independent you will do that for a very long time <laughs> i do not advise it for anyone and the third one is the fading style now the fading style i like yeah i like it so much and this would work for you if your baby is already old if you think your baby is older like your baby is like six eight months and then you're still thinking about sleep training now there's no time that is too late to sleep train you can sleep train a two-year-old self it, it depends on you the thing about fading is it means you're dealing with a, a child that just wants to see you to be sure that you're there so you lay the baby down maybe you rock the baby to sleep before you lay the baby down but you know all these babies that will just open their eyes just to be sure that you are there so what you do is you put a chair by the crib or by the bed by the mat however you lay your baby to sleep you put a chair by the crib and you are sitting down there and then you just keep moving your chair backwards every night every night until your baby is used to you not being in the room like until you are by the door and you can just leave and the baby will just sleep so the thing about this is every time baby cries or baby is awake and you're not there like you you're sitting there until baby falls asleep and then you leave so in case your baby wakes up and you're not there all you have to do is just come back to this chair and sit down do not touch your baby you're not patting you're not rocking you're not doing anything you're just there you just need baby to see that mommy is here you're fine so that's it those are the three methods now how did i work this out i did the, the crying method not a lot but majorly i did the crying 
the crying method let the baby cry it out please do not i did not kill my mother you cannot kill me <laughs> that was my own method so how did i make all of my cry cry it out method um i would sing i sang a lot a whole lot i would sing to my baby and i started with before i started composing songs by myself which i find a whole lot of joy in i started with just common songs songs that would naturally just rock a baby to sleep so i would sing you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much i love you please don't take my sunshine away then the i love you you love me well best friends like friends should be with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you won't you say you love me too and i added them um, guess how much i love you okay. somehow she just loved that song so much so i decided to compose songs and the first one was um a lot of things happen when you go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep you grow taller you grow fatter go to sleep sleep my baby sleep and the second one i just patterned it with the um, mulan song my baby close your eyes i have sweet dreams of mommy and daddy and dream over your amazing siblings have sweet dreams when you're asleep yeah i hope you like my song and you like my singing voice my baby likes it so whatever <laughs> so those were the songs i composed for her and i will sing it over and over again she would smile and then she would fall asleep. So I didn't have a whole lot of crying time with her. Because most of the time before, by the time I put her down and I just sing and walk away, she would just fall asleep. So there you have it. You can adopt the song, you can learn it, you can adopt the song. I'll probably put um, the lyrics on my Instagram page so that if you need the lyrics but if not or maybe i'll just put it in the i'll put it in the description box below the lyrics of the two songs so that's it and then recently i just thought about it that what is the essence of having a sleep time song if we do not have a wake up song so i composed a wake up song and it goes thus wake up sleepy head baby wake up Wake up, baby, it's sunrise now. Wake up, sleepy head, baby, wake up. Wake up, wake up, it's sunrise now. Now, the deal about the wake up song, it's a deal breaker. Now, I get a cranky baby every time I wake up early, especially because of school. I get a very cranky baby who does not want to do anything. I don't want to brush my teeth. I don't want to take my bath. I don't, she doesn't want to do anything. But since I composed this song, she has been a very gentle baby. She has been doing the things I want to do, especially in the morning. So, especially when I get to the wake up, wake up, it's sunrise now. She's, she, she wakes up smiling and it brightens my day. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed every bit of this video. I hope that the next time you get to try sleep training your baby, that you will give a testimony and you share in the comment section below thank you give this video a thumbs up if you like it comment down below subscribe to my channel so that you get much more of this and share with your friends thank you very much and bye bye